What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out part two. In this video, we're gonna take all the hard work that we did in part one and make it useful. We're gonna pull our info from the database to our printers. Now there's two types of database. We've got the remote and our local. Now we gotta go into the PCB and toggle a few switches from local database to remote database. If you haven't already seen the video, go check it out now. It's all about mastering Clarity Config. So we make those switches in Clarity Config. Uh, first thing we do is upload. So we get communication with the PCB. Once we're in there, we're actually gonna to go to the system folder. And in the system folder, we're gonna look for database location, change that from local to remote. We hit apply, go up to new coder and download that change. Then we hop over to Clarisoft. In here, we're gonna set up the TCP IP comms so enter our IP address again. Uh, the port is 3001. Hit apply. And then we're going to do the push method, as I like to call it. So a hit database record, and then you can see all of our product codes show up. So let's just select one. Go ahead and say finish. It gives us a nice preview. Say OK. And now this is going to send from the PC to the printer. So our progress bar says good, switches on the touchscreen. Let's tap it again, make sure, looks good to me. Then we finally hop into Clarinet. Now this is the networking software. We're gonna do a few things in here. First, we're gonna go ahead and look at the setup, make sure our data source is still there. And then we wanna look at our directory because we wanna make sure he's pulling the right database from the right location. So just go to our Windows C drive and hit our Claricom data folder because that's where we hid our uh, working Microsoft Access table. Everything checks out here. Now, before we can push the job, we're actually going to have to set up a coder in Clarinet. So we do that. Now it's going to give you a bunch of options. We're going to look for links, TT1000, so the 107 millimeter printer. Um, it's going to ask you to name it here. So naming it, uh, we'll just name it printer one. Okay. Uh, now it's asking us, how do you want to communicate? We're going to obviously communicate over IP. We type in our address here again. Finish that. Now it should pop up in this full, uh, yep. And it should actually turn red um, because we're communicating and it did, but we have a fault. And the fault is the cassettes open. Now we go to the unit. Now in our job list, you should actually see all your messages. We don't um, because we're using the sample version of Clarinet. So uh, we're going to try just pulling a random job like 1001. Hit OK. Uh, OK, so now he's requesting the file from the PC where we have our access table. And we received the file. That's fantastic. Okay. Machine ID. So this is our user input we have to do. So we'll put, um, you know, two. Just keep it simple. And beautiful. Gave us a preview. 